Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? Today I'm doing just a quick little easy, just kind of get ready with me. I do my makeup, I do my hair, and kind of just chit chat um, about life and things like that. I did also use all my old products, products that I've actually in the past have recommended and I've purchased and kind of just as far as foundations, things like that. I kind of use a lot of the old stuff that I do love absolutely love and i still do have those items and kind of just sit back down and use those palettes because i don't know i just wanted to get ready with you guys have some fun sit down and film and kind of just chat this was a quick easy i mean it took me like two hours to film and i'm not lying uh because you're gonna see in a moment i was a hot mess um but yes i had so much fun filming this video for you i hope you're having a beautiful day or night wherever you are please stay safe so I hope you had a beautiful Thanksgiving. I hope you had a lot of good food and spent time with family and kind of just stayed home and stayed safe. But if you want to just continue watching this video and kind of just hang out with me because you have nothing else to do, I'm flattered. Please continue watching. And again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. I did want to go ahead and just get ready with it today. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to um, review anything. I'm going to use actually some of my old palettes that I've had in the past. Wow, that's pretty crazy um, that I've reviewed in the past. And I want to go for a more of a dark, smoky eye. Um, but yes, I want to just sit down, get ready, talk to you guys, see how you guys are doing, checking in on you and things like that. I'm going to, of course, do my hair and everything. I look like a hot mess. It's only 11 in the morning and I feel like my... My voice sounds very, very deep and like manly, but it's my morning voice. You know what it is, what it is. I'm going to go in with some Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This does have sunscreen SPF 15. I'm going to just put that all over my face. I haven't done my eyebrows, so and normally I do my eyebrows off um, camera, but if you guys, I'm going to just bring you along through uh, my process and show you that it's an actual right like i'm not perfect by means i am still trying so you're gonna see how much of a mess i do okay. and i have been using some new sense um face mask and this happened i think honestly it's either clearing my face or maybe i'm just sensitive to the product because i haven't really been breaking out as of late and this one came Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is the Soft Brown Dip Brow Pomade. Okay, it won't focus, but it's this one. And I also go ahead and um, go in with the Morphe M1615 brush. I'm going to just go in there like that. And I like to focus on the top of the eyebrow first and focus more on the outer of the eyebrow. Kind of just put that in there. And then on the bottom from here, kind of do like a straight line all the way across or like down and then just fill them in like that. And I feel like sometimes it's a hit or miss for me. Sometimes they look nice or I feel like they look nice. And then sometimes they look a little bit too dark. Wait is not what i'm going for i do like the way they look a lot better now that i've been doing this instead of just um i mean i wouldn't really do much to my eyebrows beforehand anyway and i thought i look fine and i feel like you do you don't have to do anything to your eyebrows but i just wanted for them to look a little bit fuller especially when i have like a full face of a full face of makeup and if i don't have my eyebrows done i feel like it doesn't look complete you know and i think i went a little bit too thick on this side but it's okay because we're gonna go back and just fix that a little bit or at least try to fix that and that's normally what i do now again they look a little bit crazy right now but i don't have the rest of my face done so i'm hoping it looks okay i'm gonna go in with my tark shape uh, concealer and i'm gonna use my small little i believe this is a real cosmetics real tech real techniques brush tiny tiny brush as you can see it's been used and abused because i use this to do my eyebrows every day or kind of clean out the mess that i did and i kind of just go on the bottom and kind of just clear out or clean out any harsh lines you want to make sure that it's real nice and smooth we might see it on this one. Oh, i want it too deep let me see can do the top because this one got a little bit thick 
and I was not going for thick. But I mean, I want to, I want full brows, you know? See what I mean? Trial and error, you guys. Trial and error. Just in a bit. And then I think I got some concealer on my actual eyebrow hair. And I'm gonna go back and just lightly, not too crazy. And I feel like, there you go. I feel like this one is always fuller than this one. I don't know why. But I'm gonna go ahead and continue with my eyes and then we'll do the rest of my face. And then if I have to go back, I would just clean it or clear it or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with my Tarte Shape again and just put a little bit on my eyelids just to kind of conceal, get rid of all those veins. Let's go in. We have a lot of choices today. Have you guys, you guys know I reviewed the Jeffrey. Um, oh my God, this palette is freaking beautiful. I'm obsessed with this palette. And I haven't used it since because I keep buying new items and I keep making new videos and I use new products that I don't go back to the old products. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and use my old palettes that I haven't touched because I keep buying new stuff. And I forget, I forget how amazing the product actually is. So today I want to go back to these bad boys and kind of show them some love. Of course, my Jaclyn Hill palette, as you guys know, I love this. This is my go, like my everyday go-to palette. Look at that. That is a mess. But I just love the nice, deep, smoky, chocolatey colors. They're just bomb. I love them. I'm going to go to my Jeffree Star because I honestly do love his palette. I'm going to go in with just a Sigma brush, big fluffy brush. I wish I could always plan these beforehand because I like to just sit down and be spontaneous and kind of film these. But then I'm here taking forever trying to figure out, hmm, what should I do? Think for some contrast. Let's go in. Let's go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and let's use this one right here. Again, there are no shades on this palette. That's the only thing that I do not like. I wish you would have, or they would have included those shades. And kind of just put that on my crease. Let me go with a more precise brush. Because I, I really want to just put that exactly on my crease. And kind of contour it a little bit. Contour my crease. Oh, yes. I forgot that this one does have a, a mirror. There we go. Okay. Like so I woke up early this morning and I ran to um, HEB because we, of course, forgot to buy the pies. And we've been putting a lot of orders through the curbside just because we want to, of course, keep our distance, things like that. But as of um, yes, as of today, actually, we were all in the clear to kind of leave our quarantine. Long story. But we did go ahead and just run to HEB to get some last minute things that we needed. So then I want to go in with a more deeper chocolatey shade so then i'm gonna go i'm gonna use the same brush i'm gonna go in with um the morphe palette and i want to do maybe like this one right here and then just go in i'm gonna first pack it in all on my crease and then we're gonna go ahead and buff it out so it'll take me about five minutes or so to do that i'm just going to buff it out with a clean brush there's no product on there and i'm just going back and forth windshield motions you know what? i think i'm gonna go with this one with hi dude this one right here put that in my crease and then we can go back and blend everything out i need to iron my backdrop i just noticed that oh it's horrible but I finally found it. As you can see, it was in a box. I need to set everything up. I need to buy another little like desk um, and set it up in the office upstairs so I can film there. But lately, it's been crazy. Couldn't do any of that stuff. Should I do deeper? I mean, because they are blending very nicely. So I'm happy with that. Let me see if I can do this one. All browns. I feel like no one's gonna notice, <laughs> but I will. I will notice. Oh, that one's a really nice one. I just really love the brown shades, honestly. The brown is light. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do for the over eyelid is, remember I I just used it in my last video when I reviewed their ColourPop. That glitter is everything, and I think I'm gonna want to use that for sure because that color is gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here. That nice, beautiful ooh, gold. I'm gonna go ahead and just put concealer and just put it all over my eyelid or just like right here. And I'm hoping that would serve as a nice little base because that's what I noticed I needed when I did the review. I needed to put a nice base. I'm going with my finger. I'm gonna just buff it out a little bit. Okay, now I'm so excited. I'm gonna go in with excess. Oof, look at that. Mm. And just press it up with more. Oh my gosh, I love. I have like a hate and love 
relationship with these kind of shades because it's a beautiful shade, but it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. Okay, I need to go back with um that nice dark brown and kind of just focus that oh my hair focus that on the other outer corner of the eye i think i need to go back because it's like falling off maybe these are meant to be used with actual um glitter glue but like i don't have that and if you're gonna put some glitter on here you should include the glue as well finished <laughs> just kidding oh my god i regret it now but i just love that shade so much Okay, I'm gonna go and quickly do the other eye and then we're gonna come back and do the rest of our face. I'll be right back. Now, I am covered in glitter, so it's a party now. Oh my goodness. Um, I've already moisturized my face. We do that together. I think I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop um, foundation just cause I need me some actual, I'm dropping everything. I need me some hyaluronic, whatever. I need some moisture in my face. But I think I'm gonna mix it with my Maybelline. Again, I wanna make sure um, I'm using all the old products that I've reviewed for you guys and that I've recommended and show you that I honestly and truly do use them. So whatever I do recommend, I use it and I'm 100% honest with my opinion. So let's continue. I'm gonna, of course, prime my face. I'm gonna go back with an oldie but a goodie. This one is the Stravectin uh, Anti Wrinkle Line Blur, uh, Line Blur Factor Instant Wrinkle Blurring Primer. And I'm getting wrinkles like in my neck. I'm like, what the heck? Maybe because I lay down and I'm like this, girl. I don't know. But I was like, what? Put that all over my face. This one is just not my best friend right now. She hates me. Put that all over. Remember this one, I love this primer. And keep in mind, it does have little particles. So if you don't like textured items, then um, that one is not for you. And I also still do have my, um, the Baby Skin Instant Pour. And this one, I use it whenever I don't wear makeup. I just put it on with no makeup because that one, remember the last couple of times I've tried it, it does lift um, my foundation. I know it's sad. But anyways, now I'm gonna go in and mix. Make sure you give it a good shake. Oh, I almost like hit myself. Shake, shake, shake. And then I'm gonna mix them. I'm gonna mix them because this one is a little bit more like under uh, yellow tone-ish. And I don't like that. And this one is more like liquidy. I mean, they are not like the same, but they're not, they're different. And then I'm gonna just go with my beauty sponge. Oh, should I should have used my, make my actual brush. Oh well, and kind of just put that all over you see how it's like a yellow tone and the one that i've been looking at you guys that i'm actually very interested in buying and i think um i have it in my cart i just i just haven't checked out yet um it's the lancome one i've heard a lot of amazing things with that one and the reviews are really really great and i'm excited because i used to love lancome when i was young and i first started like uh, playing with makeup or i was introduced to uh, makeup by my mother um, we would buy Lancome because it was more like natural-ish kind of. Um, and I've always been a natural kind of gal. So that's what I did. And I used to I used to be obsessed with their lip glosses. Oh my God, they were the best lip gloss ever. And it's been a couple of years since I've used Lancome. Um, yeah, so that's pretty sad. So I want to go ahead and go back, use it. Uh, fall in love with it again. Rediscover it. It's always fun when you go back and rediscover, you know, the brands that you used to love or that you used growing up. I love that. How does it look? I feel like it's a little bit too dark. So whenever you have a foundation that's a little bit too darker than your skin, always bring it down your neck so it can kind of blend. You don't want to have like a yellow or orangey face and then have like a pale neck. That's not what you want at all. I mean, again, we're not doing anything. We're going to be here at the house, but still like it's our first time. It's our first Thanksgiving in our new home. And I really want to take some pictures with the hubby. Okay, I think I blended everything together. I'm going to go in really quickly with some Vaseline, the Lip Therapy Aloe Vera. Just I hate that my lips look all dry with a like foundation. That's not a cute look. Is that better? I don't know. I feel like now I'm just focusing on my lips. Anyways, I'm going to go in again with my Tarte Ship Concealer. Oh, maybe I should mix it with my... But this one, I think it was too bright. My ColourPop, 
And I'm gonna just go with my writer. I'm gonna go with my writer die. I'm gonna just focus that up here and there. I wanna be generous with the amount that I'm placing on my face to conceal. Clearly evidence that I couldn't sleep last night. I just haven't been sleeping very well lately. Like we are quarantining in our home. Um, I mean, we already finished quarantining, but the past like 14 days, I've been in my master bedroom. My husband's been in another room and I'm just so used to sleeping next to him for the past seven years, over seven years that I felt so weird. I'm um, not sleeping by him or next to him. So I haven't been able to sleep very well. Again, I'm gonna go in with my Airspawn powder. I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs. Of course, I love my Marc Jacobs. I use it all the time. Every single day I use this one. I go between this one and I go between my Hourglass. But that one's a little bit intense. I have to be careful with that one because if you, a little bit on that one goes a long way. It kind of just browns up the face. I need to dust it up. Let me go back and just quickly dust off the under eye because I want to go in and finish. I have to, um, I feel like I talk too much and you guys don't even see half of the, of the footage because I talk way too much and I've been here for almost an hour and I can't I have to hurry up. I have things to do people. I have to be in the kitchen and cook for my family. I'm gonna go, go in with this one right here. It's a mess. Actually, first I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush, like a thin, like a tiny, tiny, thin fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go in with like a, a lighter color and kind of just put that all underneath my eye just a little bit you can like barely see it but that's what i want i'm gonna just focus that on the outer corner and bring it in just halfway and i'm using this is a morphe m213 i feel like all i use is morphe but they're just honestly affordable prices and it's good stuff i honestly do not like the fact that the shadow the palette doesn't have any names because they have similar browns and i don't know which one i'm going into <laughs> so now i'm just going on both just to make sure i have the right one done perfect i'm gonna go back and just dust off the powder as well i'm gonna go in with again another oldie but a goodie my l'oreal blush please I love this stuff it's so beautiful it's more like a peachy nice like just mm, it's just really really good i'm gonna go in with morphe brush and then just focus that on the apples of my cheeks for that natural facelift on my 15th birthday for my quinceanera, because we had a quinceanera because I'm Hispanic. Um, and we went to Lancome to get my makeup done. And that's exactly what she told me. She said that um, she would focus it up here. So you always want to bring your uh, blush like this. So whenever you turn, it looks beautiful. But now they say to do that for the nice natural facelift. And I'm like, oh, I've been doing this. I was 15 years old. And then I want to focus that on the here my forehead and down my nose. Because you guys know how much I love some blush on my nose. It's just like cute, flirty, I don't know. Maybe I just look crazy, but I like the way it looks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Oh, don't let me forget um, eyeliner, guys. I'm gonna use my NYX liner. Again, this is a very, very good eyeliner. Very, very thin. I think I compared this one with the Patrick Star one size, which I was not a fan. I don't even have it anymore. It was just not a very good liner. It leaks and I don't like that. Sorry, I can't talk when I do my eyeliner. Very, 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 very thin line. I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics eyeliner that I've been using. I've been using this one and I've been using my Flower Beauty nonstop back and forth. They're just very, very good liners. Pretty, right? I love brown liner. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline mascara. Not my favorite. It's a good one, but not my favorite. <laughs> I haven't opened my color, my cover girl. My cover girl is my favorite. But I haven't opened it because I still want to use this one. If not, I mean, I don't want to have that one go to waste either. And just coat my lashes ever so generously without making, making them look like spider legs. Time for the next one. Okay, so I plucked in my strainer. And then I'm going to quickly just pop on some Jaclyn Hill or just Jaclyn um, I highlighter i don't really go this way i think it's a little bit too dark so i go like these two highlight my face from that glow from within look you know natural isn't that beautiful and then down my nose i'm gonna go ahead and just i kind of just parted this because that's my part i've always wanted to have like bangs but i can't because i have like a remolino i don't know how you say that in english but basically like i can't if i do it here 
this because of this it kind of just stays up it won't stay close <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm going to go in with my um, lightweight setting serum. I did mention this one on one of my haul videos. I obsess with that one. It's good for the hair and it's also a heat protectant. And I like to focus it mainly on the ends of my hair. And I was going to just do curls because I, I, I mean, I always do curls. I love curls. But lately, I've been really enjoying the straightener. So when do you guys actually cook? Like when do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Do you celebrate it like um, for lunch, for dinner? How do you guys celebrate your Thanksgiving-ness meal? I guess, I don't know. Um, it's For me, when I was younger, I used to always go celebrate it with um, my grandmother and all of my cousins back at the valley. Um, and it was normally like, I mean, food was always ready early because grandma, man, she would, be, she would have that stuff done the day before, like the prep work. And then just put everything in the oven because they would go into tamales um all together we would all sit there i mean i think i was part of it like maybe once or twice as far as like the actual making of tamales um i don't want to take credit for my actual primas and my tias but they were there making like 10 pounds i think i don't know how many pounds of of um, masa for tamales but i mean we are a big family from my dad's side we're a big family my mom's side not so much we're, we're small but, um, so food was always ready, but we would always like hang out like pretty much all day. But I feel like the main uh, party, I guess you can say it was always like towards the evening or afternoon evening-ish. And we, I mean, honestly, like just a house full of just family, cousins, friends. I mean, it was just absolutely amazing. I've had some of my best years, um, holiday wise with all my family, all my family back home. Now they know how to party and just, you know like the most important thing in life is family it's always going to be family and we grew up all together like we were like like 50 and i'm not exaggerating like it's a lot of us like cousins and we would hang out together at my grandparents house and i don't even i'm an emotional mess you guys like honestly this week this past month has been very very hard and it's been very emotional and as you get older i feel like you start to reminisce and think about all those memories and things like that and i just have i'm just i'm so blessed so blessed because i have so many amazing memories with my family and that's why i love my family i love family so much family is the number one thing for me that's my priority if i had all the money in the world i would honestly take care of all my family and i'm not even lying god knows that i'm not lying because i always pray for that i pray that i'm successful and can take care of my family like we were, I was blessed enough, my husband and I were blessed enough to be able to get this house and my ultimate dream has always been to take care of my mother and not have her worry about anything because she was an, I was raised by her and only parents and I saw how much she worked. I saw the sacrifices that she did for me and I've always wanted to pay her back in any way and my way about paying her back was taking care of her. And that's something that we were actually able to do. And that's the reason why we purchased such a big house because I wanted to make sure I could have my mom with me and just spend as much time as I can with her because life is just honestly flashing by that it's scary and I wanna spend as much time as I can with my mom because she's honestly my everything. I don't know, I just wanted to give my mom back so much and I've always been my goal, my biggest goal is just to take care of my mom and kind of just show her how grateful I am for everything that she's done, for everything that she sacrificed. So that's something that I'm very, very thankful. I just recorded my entire outro, you guys, and I wasn't even filming. I forgot to press start. Oh my God. Um, but yes, this is the finishing look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I did go ahead and just finish um, the touches by putting up some jewelry. I did just recently purchase this one and I love it so much. I bought it, um, it's from Kendra Scott. And they had like their 30% off sale because this these are pricey, but I had to of course take advantage of it because it was on sale. So it's like free money, right? What's my model? It's like they're giving me money, right? So that's why I had to purchase it. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.